New tonight at 5. For the first time, emergency sirens will echo through the canyon walls around Georgetown. Yeah, that'll happen next month. The sirens could be used to warn of any problems with the dams above town. Your reporter in the high country, Spencer Wilson, went to Clear Creek County to find out why this emergency system is just now being turned on. This is all a contingency. With these sirens in place, they're hoping that the dam never breaks and this giant hypothetical wall of water never comes crashing down the valley into Georgetown. But if it does, they want people to be ready. That big pole is a siren. Or at least one of the four sirens spaced out across town that will soon be sounding a new monthly test, even if the sirens themselves are not new. They've actually, they were installed a few years ago, like six or seven. And as for why those sirens never went online, the Georgetown police judge says it's a great question that we simply don't have the answer to. And then last year, I hear from the sheriff's department that they never went operable. And I went, what? What? <laughs> but we are turning them on now. We're not allowed to play the sound of the siren for you, but you can probably imagine what it will sound like. Regardless, it's the short notice residents will get if there is truly an emergency coming from these dammed lakes up in Guinella Pass. If a rush of water was coming, people could hear the sirens and can have a plan to get out of the valley. And there aren't that many ways to get out of town either. What are you going to do, outrun it going that way? This isn't intended to scare anyone. It's intended to educate and prepare people against a threat that's been there the whole time and hopefully will never become an issue. So the best course of action. Stay calm, carry on. The very first testing of these sirens will be on March 6th at 10 a.m. And then those sirens will go off every first Wednesday of each month moving forward. So be prepared, be ready for it. In Clear Creek County, Spencer Wilson covering Colorado first. And Spencer covers what's happening across our high country. Recently, he's reported on stories in Georgetown, Breckenridge, the Grand Mesa, A Basin, Winter Park. Send him your story ideas through CBSColorado.com. He would love to hear from you.